Hey, you know, one of the things that is most often commented on when I make these videos is how high my saddle is. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hey, I'm Arnie, and this is the Rad Rover Way, where we talk Rad Rovers, Rad Power Bikes, all kinds of gear, and we go for rides. If you like that kind of content, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button. Don't forget, click the bell icon also, so you'll be notified whenever we put up new content. And make sure you check out the show notes in the description below, so uh, you can uh, look out for, for more details. Now, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that I've got a little bit of height. I'm six foot eight, so that explains why my saddle is so high, but what is it that I'm using to get that extra altitude? Well, this is the uh, Thud Buster from Cane Creek. It's a great seat post. It gives me the extra height I need. Now I have the Thud Buster LT XL. So it has even more length than the regular. There are th three iterations of it, I believe. Well, two iterations. There's the ST, which is the short travel, I guess is what it stands for. And then there's the LT, which is the long travel. And then within the LT, they have an extra long version. Now they all come, the, the Thud Busters have a variety of seat post diameters so that you can actually, you know, have a, well, you should, you, if you're here about Rad Rovers, you're not going to worry about that because you obviously can see that I've got mine here. But there are other uh, diameters available as well. One of the things that makes the Thud Buster so popular is the fact that it does have this shock absorbing, um, Mm, what I forget what these are called. Oh, these elastomers, that's what it is, in here. And they are also, you can get a variety of different ones depending on how much you weigh. Uh, I don't remember what they are, but obviously the smaller the number, the less resistance there is. So I've got the most, I'm 260, 250, somewhere in that range. Uh, and wait, so I've got um, number nine uh, elastomers in here, and that's the, the thickest, I guess you'd say. I don't know what, what your word to use best, but this is what gives you that cushion, and it works really well. Um, a lot of people are surprised that I still ride with the Velo Plush, which is the you know, standard saddle with the Rad Rover. I did have on here a, um, I forgot what it was now. Oh, a Brooks. And uh, I used to love riding Brooks, but it just wasn't comfortable, so I went back to this. And in combination with the Thud Buster, it really is a nice ride. As I said, I'm too. 50 to 60 somewhere in there and um, it works really well for me obviously if you don't weigh as much as me you're going to want to go with um, elastomers that don't have as much resistance they're not as stiff and when you buy the box when you order it it usually comes with two different sets and you can mix and match them just depending on your weight and they kind of give you some guidelines as well if you're looking for an addition to your rad rover that is valuable i mean not just something that looks nice has some real use i really really recommend the thud buster from cane creek now this is not an inexpensive investment. It depends on how you know comfortable you want your ride to be. 
this is the one that I have the LTXL $176 like I said for a seat post we are not talking cheap here the other ones are a little bit cheaper but they're still in the $170 range so you have to kind of you know weigh what your priorities are I guess do you want a sore bottom or do you want one that's kind of comfortable your choice <laughs> Anyway, there you have it. Thudbuster from Cane Creek explains why my saddle is so high. All that good stuff. Hey, if you like this kind of stuff, why don't you give us a thumbs up? Leave a comment down below. You know, other people view these things and look at the comments. And if you have something else that you would recommend, um, go ahead and leave a comment. We do appreciate it. And uh, of course, We'd really love it if you would, subs would subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks.